Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream to remind everyone of my humanness, but God's gracious goodness. The dream started off with me at an airline ticket counter. Bible study was about to begin, and unbeknownst to me, a lady from Bible study was recording my interaction with the person at the ticket counter to show to everyone in Bible study in the opening montage. The airline had been delayed, which initiated a series of additional problems, and I was angry and distraught. I was half expressing my anger at the person behind the ticket counter and half trying to keep my raised voice from getting so high it would start cracking and I would break into tears. As I was watching this video back with everyone at Bible study, I was horrified when the video zoomed in to my mouth and my words left my mouth in super deep sounding slow motion with a piece of lettuce hanging off my front tooth. Y'all, this is just a reminder that I am just as much of an imperfect human as anyone. <laughs> well, the second dream points to God's gracious goodness. I was on a field with multiple people, two of whom had names meaning gift of God and God is my judge. I was a little rusty at doing cartwheels at first, but soon I was doing cartwheel back handsprings all over the field. In real life, I have gotten pretty rusty at doing cartwheels. However, when I dream, doing a cartwheel back handspring is no problem. It feels so real right down to the technique, and I could do cartwheel back handsprings all day long in my dreams. This dream shows that in our humanness, we can get so old and rusty, but by God's grace and by the spiritual gifts He gives, He can do great things through us. And He is so gracious that he judges us not by our own feeble attempts at righteousness, but by the righteousness that he has imparted to us by his grace. I had one additional dream to confirm the importance of grasping this. I was on an open-air elevator going up with another lady in what appeared to be a hard-working gentleman, perhaps a construction worker. A discussion came up about donations, and we all realized we all needed money, and we all like to give money away, so we realized we were all even. However, sympathy stirred in my heart for the hard-working gentleman, so I opened my checkbook. However, I was out of checks. Then I realized I had a $5 bill and made an effort to give it to the hard-working man, but the man failed to grasp it, and it floated away with the wind. This dream shows that with God, in God's eyes, we are all in need of His grace, and we all need to extend grace one to another. I, in my humanness, wanted to pay the construction worker for his good works. But God's economy of grace is not as much about checks and balances as we would sometimes like to make it out to be. Five represents God's grace. One must grasp God's grace if they truly want to go all the way up to heaven. We cannot earn our way to heaven with good works because we will never be good enough. We must receive God's grace because we all fall short in so many ways. Let us extend grace to one another. When we receive the grace of God through the blood of Jesus Christ shed for sinners, we are all on the same team on God's playing field, and by His grace we will do great things. Praise the Lord and glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.